Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with a full case break of another brand new release, 2018 Panini Elite Football 12 box. Pick your team number one from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to these folks for picking their teams on a Wednesday. Jarrett with Last Spot Mojo, Green Bay Packers. Remember, this break takes a little while, so get comfortable, get settled in. If you're watching a replay, you can fast, you can watch this video on double speed if you just want to see the hits, or you can hit. L, I think, on your keyboard. That'll fast forward 10 seconds in advance, 10 or 15 seconds, and you can kind of speed through the video that way. All right. This is all 12 boxes. Good luck, everybody. This should take about an hour. All right. There's four stacks, three stacks of four right here to make your 12. Good luck, everybody. There it is. We got Gronk on the front, two autographs and one memorabilia card per box on average. Hopefully, there'll be no below average cards, and hopefully, there'll be some above average boxes as well. Boxes, that is. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. So, I, so I'm happy because we've done at least one of every new release today. So thanks, everybody. Thanks for, thanks for chasing the big hits on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Let's actually look, just kind of go slowly through the first pack on this new release. We got Royce Freeman. That's out of 99. So pretty solid look here for the elite, and we'll uh, we'll top load all of these before they before they go out. But just in the interest of time, we will kind of just sleeve them up and set them aside. All right, good luck, folks. Yeah, they look pretty solid. Nothing super fancy about elite. It's a nice a nice price point for everybody. Um, I think people enjoy. The uh, the sort of shimmery design to it. It's a nice uh, sweet spot in terms of like price. It's an early shot at seeing some uh, some of the rookies in their pro gear. I think this is one of the first releases with that. So it's pretty solid. I think a lot of people remember Elite Draft Picks. So there's a similar design there. Although Elite Draft Picks had fewer uh, fewer packs. Uh, correct. Vet base will not ship out, so I'll I'll show you. Yeah, and typically in a break that's usually this long, it's like and has a lot of packs, a lot of cards. The veteran base will not ship out. So uh, according to the item description, all short prints, rookie cards, inserts, numbered cards, relics, autos, and all other hits will ship. Vet base is donated. Um, all right, let me actually get. Get some my the fan right here too. This gets a little warm. All right. So stuff like this, Andrew Luck will not be shipping. This blank card will not ship. Die cut will ship. Won't ship. Won't ship. Won't ship. Camara obviously will ship. That's out of two ninety nine. For the Saints, I think the rookie cards will obviously ship. So anything where you see these will ship. I think these look pretty cool. They look like playing cards. This Braxton Berrios will ship. This will ship. That ships too. 
all those inserts will ship, and I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be there'll be cards that are that have RC on or something like that. Those will ship. Pen pals will obviously ship. Rashad Penny going to the Seahawks. That'll be for Dakota. Tidal waves, get it? Joey Jewel will ship. These inserts will ship. RCs will ship. That's out of uh, six ninety nine. Primary color. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, you can tell right there. You can see how it's a little embossed right there. Embossed? I think it's embossed. There's a there's some relief there. Back to the Future 23. We're not going that far back. 23 out of 75. Deonta Foreman. That's for the Texans. That'll be for King D. Um, Wit and oh yeah, everything ships in Inception. Dual Theater, forty-four out of ninety-nine. Johnny Hecker, what's he doing here? Oh, punter who played quarterback in high school occasionally gets the green light to throw a pass or two. That's right. There you go, Rams with that one. James Washington to 99. And for the Chiefs, 38 out of 49. Craftsman relic. Patrick Mahomes, my homies. Yeah, Mark, I do like the design this year. I like the, the inserts look nice this year too. I'm going to set some of these here. Like I said, all those uh, those numbered cards will ship out sleeved and top loaded. All right, and that would be um, Zach, who had the Chiefs. So he gets that Mahomes relic. Is Patrick Mahomes, is he the real deal, folks? Now I like I like doing this during breaks because I always like to uh, I always like to get everybody's thoughts on this. Oh, I should have updated this list. Sorry, I have not updated my uh, my win total list, so these numbers might be slightly different. I don't think by that much, but they should might be a little bit different. So Kansas City Chiefs they jettison Alex Smith, right? Or was he a free agent? Uh, their win total. Vegas has them at eight and a half. Over or under? What do you guys take? This is box two of Elite Football Pick Your Team number one. Seal Curtain saying this Elite is nice this year. He bought a case from his local card shop. Good for supporting the local card shop. And he has four boxes open so far. Wow, and he hit a Mayfield Chubb dual pen pal auto a Josh Allen pen pal auto, and a DeAndre Hopkins one of one. Did you give yourself the train whistle, seal curtain? Do you allow yourself that? Or do you not want to wake up the uh, wake up the house? Mike McCarthy says Kansas City over. Cameron Goodman says over. Over eight and a half. Will they go over? Hmm. I don't know. Hold. I say I say they go they go under just barely eight wins. All right. <laughs> Gulucci didn't want to wake up. Seal Kern didn't want to wake up the kids. No train whistle. Dual threats. What's Tom Brady doing? Huh? A quick kick. I I, I honestly don't remember that. All right. There you go, Tom. 
There's Josh Rosen. Josh Allen. That is to 83. To 83? That's kind of a random number. 78 out of 83. Prime targets, Relic. Downtown Antonio Brown, 23 out of 49. Michael Gallucci? Yep, yeah, Michael Gallucci at Steel Curtain. Now, Steel Curtain can't get enough. He, he got a case at his local card shop. Joining our breaks on jazbeeshobbyland.com. There's AJ Green for the Bengals. Sorry, Larry Fitzgerald. Hard hats. At a six ninety nine, there's Kike Kuti Kute. Primary colors: Adam Thielen and Kalen. Balage, turn of the century autograph. I'm looking for the number. 7 out of 49 for the Dolphins. Brandon Thomas on the board. Come on, top loaders. That's a cool looking design right there. Samaj Pirine die cut. That is numbered to 24. To 24? Stuff that's 25 and under will, will sleeve up and top load immediately. There you go. Samaj Pirine going to the Redskins. Adam Kupperman with the Redskins. Camara, we've got Jimmy Graham. Kind of looks weird in that Packers uniform, right? Out of 299. JJ Watt. Dylan Cantrell to 99. <laughs> Zach's like, what do you know about the Chiefs win total? You're a Raiders guy. I feel like I'm pretty qualified to, to speak on the AFC West. I don't think my Raiders are going to do well this season. It's going to be a transitional year for the Raiders. We'll do left-right randomizers on those. Tom Brady, is that? Oh, no, that's just a different background. Cortland Sutton, Pen Pals, autograph. That'll go to Jerry Bennington, Oppo Joe Mojo, the Denver Broncos. For the Packers out of 99. Marquez, Valdez, Scantling. I like these captain cards here too. Captain Clutch. There's Vaughn Miller. I don't really like Vaughn Miller. I don't really like how nice that defensive line is looking. All right. Another box in the books. Next one coming up. My Raiders win total. My Raiders win total is eight. Eight. Mike McCarthy saying, hey, you got to believe in your Raider Nation. I believe, just not this year. I feel like it's just going to be a transitional year. I think it's going to be weird. I think it's going to be weird until they get settled in Vegas, to be honest with you. Because I feel like that's a lot of transition. Right? You're uprooting an entire franchise. You gotta move into like a new office. You know, you like to gotta go all gotta go to Vegas, gotta find new houses. everyone's gotta find new houses and new grocery stores and their favorite gas station and their coffee shop and all that. They gotta get into that routine. They got a new coach, they gotta get used to Gruden, you know. And he's gotta get the guys that he doesn't like out and the guys he likes in. And so I think that's going to be all, all those changes, you know, I, I think will make it sort of a transitional season. Raiders at eight, I think, they're, I think they'll win right about eight. Seven maybe, seven or eight. I think the next, I think a couple years after that, I think the Raiders will be putting themselves in a really good position to, 
to win, but... But I don't know about this season. Well, we'll see. Who knows? Any given Sunday, right? Bill saying Vegas would be perfect for baseball. I, I think Vegas is going to be a destination for a, for a lot of pro teams. I'm sure all the sports franchise or sports leagues have looked at how well the Golden Knights have have done in Vegas. And then they're going to see the Raiders in a couple years. So they'll they'll see that. And I think basketball and baseball would be close close behind. Probably basketball first. I think baseball will be last to get to Ve uh, to Vegas, but I think they eventually will. Out of uh, three ninety nine, Saquon Barkley, Calvin Ridley, Pen Pals autograph, nice. Falcons. That goes to Jacob Cook, Calvin Ridley on one side. Julio Jones on the other side. That could be dangerous. There's Matt Stafford to 299. At a 699, there's Ito Smith. Spellbound at a 299. Oh, yeah, we can spell out the name. Let's see if we can make one in this break. Turn of the century out of... It's too shiny. 15 out of 49. Jalen Samuels for the Steelers. Michael Gallucci with that one. Tidal Waves, and Robbie Anderson for the Jets out of 299. Who has the Jets? In? Adam Kupperman, of course, has the Jets in this one. And we have Elite Coverage, Alvin Kamara. Dual Relic for the Saints. That'll be for Bulldog Fan with the Saints. Uh, what's Gold Ink, Brandon Thomas? I don't think, we had, I don't think we've seen a Gold Ink yet. You're welcome, Seal Curtain. Out of 199. What are the gold? Gold inks are out of five? You may have to adjust your monitor, Brandon Thomas. James Washington to 72. TJ Watt. To 90. <laughs> There's a good joke here somewhere, right? There's a good joke here, right? Captain Clutch. Maybe, uh, maybe clutching inappropriately, Jameis Winston. Are those numbered? I don't think those are numbered. No, they're not. All right. And we're holding on to these. We're going to try to make a name, build a name out of that. Oh, and apparently Gold Inc., according to James and Seal Curtain, was only first off the line. All right. Who has the Rams? EA, we're going to try to make Gurley in this break. All right, good luck, everybody. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we haven't done any. We haven't done any first off the line yet. I think we're. Uh, I think we still we still go through our distributor for a lot of stuff. Just because we like our distributors, they got to eat too. Cody West, can I have a chub? Capital C H U B B. Sure. There's got to be one in here somewhere, right? At least a base card. Right, we're only like four boxes in, boys and girls, so we still we still have a ways to go before we start to get worried about getting a hit or not. Oh, Cody's saying asking usually. This is true. Sometimes people ask, and then all of a sudden, bam, there it is. Doesn't work all the time, but enough times where we've noticed. All right, there's Alan. Robin, Alan Robinson's on the Bears now? Out of 99. I'll bet this would make a cool set, too, if you... You put all that together. Jair Alexander out of 199. Tyrod Taylor. We got DJ Moore to 699. Oh, we can make Wentz, right? W. That's fewer letters than Gurley out of 299. We can make Wentz. Uh,. That'll be for Paul Hutchins and the Eagles. We're going to try to make your Wentz right there. Out of 699, Kuti. And we've got this guy, Kyle Loletta for the New York Football Giants. That goes to EA Sports in the game. Twenty out of ninety-nine. Out of six ninety-nine, Buccaneers, Jordan Whitehead. There's the T for Wentz, but it's a different. Oh, that's kind of annoying. So if you were gonna make, if you were gonna make the letters. Like, for example, it have, these would all have to be purple, right? You'd have to get the W, E, N, and Z all in purple, right? Out of 75. And these would all have to be in out of 299. That makes it tough. <laughs> it makes it harder to make his name. All right, we'll still stack them up right there. Naham Hines for the Colts. Sorry, Colts, for having Amari Cooper hands. Ryan Rayner with the Colts. Nice pen pals autograph. Kirk Cousins, you like that? Kirk Cousins out of 49. Tom Brady to 299. Does Cooper have bad hands? I mean, look at that catch. It looks like he had kind of caught it with his body. Not supposed to catch like that. There's Mason Rudolph. Ben Rosberger not helping him. There he is again. Now, he had a lot of drops last year. His rookie year, a lot of drops. Second year, not a lot of drops. We thought that problem was fixed. And then his third year, last year, dropsies again. That goes to the Raiders, John H. Runs great routes, though. Prime targets at an... 49, Demarius Thomas. That is for the Broncos. Jerry Bennington with the Broncos. There's Matt Ryan, die cut. To 24, nice. Hard hats, Tom Brady and Mike Evans.
All right, onwards to the next box. I see a few orders coming in. I'm not sure what they're going to be for, but got about another solid half hour or so left in this break. We're almost halfway through. About a couple boxes away from being halfway through. And then this break will be over before you know it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be ready to do another one. So go over to Jaspi's Hobby. Then. So by the time this break is over, we'll still have well over an hour, hour and a half to break. So get your get your uh, orders in and fill up some breaks. Before it gets too late. Now a lot of people like to ask during new release nights, "Hey, Joe, are are we going to break all night? Are we going to stay up late and break?" Well, we could, but that's really all up to you, ladies and gentlemen. If you keep selling out breaks, it'll be very difficult for me to ditch you guys and say, ah, well, it's quitting time. Quitting time. You guys remember that from Gone with the Wind? Um, <laughs> it's hard to just be like quitting time and then bail on you guys when there's breaks filled up. All right. Next box. Good luck, everybody. There's Drew Brees to 91. Tom Brady. Ian Thomas to 199. Spellbound, Cam Newton. That's the out of 75. 29.75. All right, let's see what we can see if we can build that. Joe Flacco to 95. Oh, all, all all Zach needs is a Chiefs triple auto. Okay. There's Craftsman, Matt Ryan, Matty Ice for the Dirty Birds. Jacob Cook and the Falcons. Vaughn Miller to 49. If you happen to see me breeze by, I'm sure I have, but if you happen to see me breeze by like a, a numbered card, our shipping sorting team will find those and then ship them out to you. So fear not. Do not worry. Like I'm sure I missed the ones that are right here. And sometimes they're harder to see because they're like down at his knees. That's for the Steelers. Oh, we got a Z, but a different color. Carson Wentz, Spellbound. Out of 25. Nice lower number right here, Eagles. Paul Hutchins with the Eagles. The Fly, Eagles, Fly. Super Bowl champs. And there's Bo Scarborough. 77 out of 99. Bo Scarborough Fair. James. Going to Scarborough Fair. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. <laughs> Simon and Garfunkel. Uh, Inception 5, Bill says, is filled up. All right, so Divisional 5 filled up. And there's Traquan Smith going to the Saints. Pen Pals, on-card autograph for the Saints. That'll be for Bulldog fan. All right, so after this break will be uh, half case divisional number five, Inception Baseball. And that's only a 10-minute break, ladies and gentlemen, so we can easily do the other half if you'd like. There's Derwin James out of 24, die cut. Chargers with that one. Kirk Cousins out of 299. Nice die cut. I feel like the Chargers could go 
I feel like they could win their win the division, the AFC West. I think. Remember, there there were a few field goals away from adding a few more wins to that total. They finished the season strong. All right. Next box, good luck. After this box, we are halfway through the break. So there'll be, yeah, there'll be like another 30 minutes after this box. So we're getting there, folks. Let's see if we can fill up, let's see if we can make a name out of this one case. That'd be kind of cool. I like the packaging here. Easy to rip, which is always it's always nice. Except for that one. Spoke too soon. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. And we got Mo Hurst. For my Raiders out of 99, could be a nice compliment to the Mac attack. Kareem Hunt to 299 for the Chiefs. Out of 699. See, I'm probably missing some of those. We'll catch those. Spellbound. Gurley. Nice. So that goes to the Rams. I think EA has the Rams. We got the R and the Y. EA. I don't know if they add the Roman numerals to that. That would be harder to build that last name then. Out of 699. Dual threats. Justin Tucker running around. What is he doing? Huh. Can run with the ball too. The Juice. OJ Howard. 32 out of 99. Back to the future. That'll be for Adam Kupperman and the Buccaneers. Wait, so who's quarterbacking for the Buccaneers while Jameis Winston is still serving? He's ser still serving a suspension, right? There's J.J. Watt dual threats out of 75. And Ito Smith. Pen Pals autograph. Brandon says, oh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Nice one for the Dirty Birds. That'll be for Jacob Cook. There's my boy Derek Carr out of 49. I like that pattern in the background. Doug Baldwin to 299. Carson Wentz. I was hoping that'd be another letter out of 89. And Craftsman Relic. Dak Prescott. And that'll be for James and the boys. Josh Adams to 33. And that goes to the Fly Eagles Fly. That'll be for Paul Hutchins. Lower number, I'll sleeve that up. All right, next box.
Good luck, everyone. Um, speaking of the Buccaneers, ladies and gentlemen, Tampa Bay Buccaneers win total is six and a half. Over or under six and a half. Hmm. Tough division, NFC South. I think Mike McCarthy was saying earlier, I mean, it'll help if you had all the schedules. I don't have all the schedules in front of me, but you can just... Tough division. Winston, Jameis Winston out for the first, what, four, four weeks of the season. They've got pieces. Maybe they win. That's a pretty good total, I think. Six and a half. Maybe six. Seven. Hard to say. I think that, that number is pretty, pretty spot on, though. It makes it difficult. All right. Next box, good luck. Joe Mixon out of 299. Craftsman, Mike Singletary, crafting some plays. That goes to Landon and the Bears. Six out of 99, Shaquem Griffin for the Hawks, Seahawks. More for the Seahawks, Rashad Penny. The R for Gurley. Oh, we're getting there, EA. I know you're watching with rapt attention. You're like, will we make, will we spell out Gurley? Maybe. Getting closer. DJ Moore. 19 out of 99. 1999, that's Prince. Panthers. That'll be for Stephen K. Out of 699 for the Titans, Rashad Evans. What's this? Field vision. I don't think we've seen this yet. Matt Stafford, field vision. Out of 99. There's Captain Clutch. So, although no more Joe Thomas. There's Big Ben. Out of 90, uh, 93, I think. It's a weird numbering. There's Mike Kosicki out of 699. That's who Brandon Thomas is looking for his for his ink. Another R. We can breeze by that. We already found an R. We'll still sleeve and top load that. And Mike White. Pen pals autograph for the Cowboys. That'll be for James. What's up, Curtis? No, no kid reporter cards in this one. Not yet. There's Dak Prescott to 99. Aaron Donald to 10. Four out of 10. Nice. For the Rams, EA. Four out of ten on that one. Man, that Rams offense looks good. Rams defense looks good. I, I, I mean, they made a lot of noise in free agency. So we'll, we'll see how all that all pans out. All right, next box. Uh, Los Angeles Rams win total is... Nine and a half. The, these numbers might be slightly outdated. That's from it's from uh, late April, and this is according to the Westgate Superbook in Las Vegas. Um, but they had set the win total in late April 
early May at nine and a half. What does everyone think? Over or under? There you go, Brand. Yeah, hopefully we can find some ink for you too. Add to that Penn State PC. NFC West. I gotta think now. Arizona Cardinals are in there. Healthy David Johnson. Maybe a healthy Sam Bradford could help. Josh Rosen. And I think I think Larry Fitzgerald still has gas left in the tank. They've got some players. Steel Curtain says over. Maybe what Seahawks? Do you, are we feeling maybe a slightly down year for the Seahawks? Perhaps transitional year for them? Maybe possibly. Everyone's all over the uh, the San Francisco 49ers. I think I mean Jimmy G is great, but I feel like Garoppolo has been playing a lo played a lot of maybe guys are arresting a lot of players last year at the end of last year when they were when on that win streak. Maybe not not as Stiff competition. But now that they've everyone's got scouting reports and entire offseason to scout to scout uh, Jimmy G and that team. I don't know. They that team still has a lot of holes though. They still have to still have to add a lot of pieces, but I think the I think the Rams, if healthy, which is always the key for every team obviously, but if healthy, I feel like they should be able to take care of that division pretty easily. And over nine and a half, yeah, over nine and a half. I would give them that. Vaughn Miller, spellbound. I'll try to make a Miller out of here too. Mark Bellinger says healthy Sam Bradford is an oxymoron. I know. I felt weird saying it. I felt weird saying it. Paul Horning autograph. Thirty-six out of forty-nine. Last bot mojo, Jared. Last bot mojo. 60% of the time, it hits 100% of the time. There you go. Old school Packer for you. So how many... What's the what's the total on how many weeks uh, Bradford plays before he gets injured? Where, where would you set that total, Mark Bellinger? Out of 75. Still trying to, we're trying to make a Newton there, too. We've got, there's Jimmy Garoppolo. We were just talking about you, Jimmy. He heard us. His ears were burning. Mike Evans, craftsman relic. <laughs> Mark Bellinger says half a week. Over or under half a week. I'd say over. <laughs> but half a week, man, that's brutal. Um, Steel Curtain says three and a half. Okay, that's a little more reasonable, I feel like, but. I don't want, maybe this is the year. I feel like everybody, every team, like spends like a chunk of money on Sam Bradford, thinking maybe this is the year we'll get him for sixteen games. Field Vision, Derek Carr. That one's not not numbered. The Matt Stafford was numbered. Oh, that'll still shit. Anthony Miller, pen pals for the Bears. Landon with that one. Maybe uh, Mark Bellinger. I like point five. Uh, as the total, as a total for when Sam Bradford appears on the injury report, that might be under half week. There's my homies at a 99. When he appears on the, he'll be questionable by week one, right? Under. <laughs> Jaleel Scott to 16. One out of six. Nice low, nice low number for the Purple Birds. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. Mike Evans to two ninety nine. Harrison Smith to two ninety nine. Six ninety nine. And four more boxes to go, boys and girls. <laughs> 
Steel Curtain says, any win total pick that I make, or any pick that I make, is any pick that I make, Steel Curtain? Michael Galoo saying, any pick that I made is tainted since I've been talking nonsense about the Browns win total. You've just opened the door again for, 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 my, for the rant. Mike McCarthy wondering if Bradford makes out a preseason. Vegas, as of late April, early May, the win total might be slightly different. Okay, so Seal Current saying all of my NFL picks are invalidated because of this take that I'm about to launch into. A hot take, apparently. So late April, early May, this is post-draft, I think, the Browns' win total was set at 5.5 according to the Westgate Superbook in Las Vegas, Nevada. 5.5. I say not only over. I say the Browns win eight games. I was, I was, I was roundly uh, laughed at by many people, many respected regulars at Jaspie's Hobbyland that I've known for a long time had openly said I was an idiot. They said I was stupid. They didn't know what I was talking about. That's ridiculous. I was shouted down. I was shouted down by people I thought were my friends. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I believe it, though. I believe everyone thinks I'm, everyone thinks I'm crazy. That's, I, I'm allowed one crazy pick. I'm a pretty even keel guy. I'm pretty cool and collected, I, I'd like to think. I'm an even keel guy. I'm allowed one crazy pick. You should listen to Nick Jaspi's picks. He's all over the place. Nick Jaspi makes crazy picks. But, hey, listen. My, my argument is Tyrod Taylor took the Bills to the playoffs. Now, is Tyrod Taylor, is he going to a... I don't know if he's going to a better team, but... I feel, I feel like there are pieces there. Maybe it's a coaching issue. I like Hugh Jackson, the <laughs> former Raider coach, Hugh Jackson. I liked. We never should have let Hugh Jackson go. It's still Hugh Jackson, the Bears, right? Or Browns, that is. It's crazy, I know. Out of 299, Jimmy Garoppolo. But I say over, and I say the Browns. You heard it here first, folks. You heard it here first. Browns are going to win eight games. Ooh, big boys. Mike McCarthy likes my Browns pick. Big Boys 007 says Browns are going to win seven. Says, Why not eight? Big Boys 007. I looked it up, folks. See, now Steel Curtain's got me all riled up. I looked it up. Last season, the Browns lost a handful of games by less than a touchdown. A handful. That's, that's four or five wins right there. There's Trubisky for the Bears. You don't think Josh Gordon can add another touchdown to that point total? Primary color. Is that numbered? It's not. Baker Mayfield autograph. Speaking of the Browns, see? Browns. Eight wins. That's out of ten, I think. One out of five. Look at that. One out of five. The Butcher, the Baker, the Candlestick Maker going to C-Dub. Cody West and the Browns. Turn of the century. Autograph out of five. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Huh? See? That's that's proof positive that the Browns are going to win eight games. When does Baker Mayfield start? <laughs> when do they realize Tyrod Taylor is not the guy? Out of 699, Mike White for the Cowboys. Kareem Hunt out of 299. Calvin Benjamin die cut to 24. Nice. We'll sleeve that up. Nice die cut for the Bills. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. Leonard Fournette out of 299. I think he'll have a nice season this year. Out of 699, MJ Stewart. Face to face. Field vision out of 299 for the Broncos. Who is that? That's, uh, oh, Von Miller. 
Oppo Joe Mojo. And Jamon Moore Pen Pals. You can work on you can work on that autograph a little bit, Jamon Moore. Come on, man. That goes to the Packers. Jarrett with that one. Yeah, Mike McCarthy saying Jabril Peppers. 14 interceptions. Well, that's a lot of interceptions, but I could see some of that happening. And Seal Curran says, as I mentioned last time, out of 89, uh, as Seal Curran mentioned last time, he was benched in favor of a dude who threw five picks. I think that was unfair, though. I think he was unfairly benched. There's Mo Hurst out of 73. It's a big dude. Look at this dude. I don't want this dude coming after me. Um, yeah, but I feel like I feel like he was unfairly benched. Tyrod gave him the best chance to win, but then the coaches were just like, I don't know. What were I actually don't remember? What was the issue? Why they Why did they bench Tyrod? Were they just trying to go a different direction? I think maybe they gave up on the season, even though they backed into the playoffs. I feel like that was an odd decision at the time. I certainly didn't put Nathan Peterman in a, in a good position to succeed. I feel bad for that guy. I feel like they kind of sprang it on him. I mean, sure, Peterman should have been ready. He has to be ready any time. You know, blah, 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 blah. But... But I feel like they were kind of like, oh, by the way, P.S. Nate, Nate, you're gonna be, you're gonna be starting in a road game against a tough defense. <laughs> yeah, I do think the immaculate reception was unfair. Yeah. I'm just stunned. I am, uh, in all in all seriousness, I'm actually stunned that there were no other like video angles for that immaculate reception. I guess it shouldn't surprise me. It was back in the day, but still. <laughs> Cody said to hit the ground. I swear, someone... Listen, if... If, uh, if people are finding Honus Wagner cards in brown paper bags in their grandpa's basement, I'm sure someone's going to find someone who took a Zapruder-style film of that game. Like, are you telling me, was that a was that a playoff game? I honestly don't. I'm obviously I'm too young to even be really that bitter about it. This is just tongue-in-cheek. Was it a playoff game? Or maybe a, a game late in the season? Are you telling me no one took a, a home movie camera there? Out of 6.99. For the Packers. That's out of 299, another Von Miller. And we've got turn of the century autograph out of 149. 128 out of 149. Kyle Laletta. <laughs> Steel Curtain says he destroyed all the footage. Let's get the Warren Commission on that. Wait, where did I put that Baker Mayfield? I need to take a picture of that later. Baker, no, where did I put you? There he is. Can't get it mixed up with all the other hits. We're gonna take a picture of that guy later. Out of six ninety nine. Von Miller. Out of two ninety I was hoping it'd be a letter. We're running out of boxes, folks, for to complete those letters. Elite coverage. Dual relic. That goes to the Ramily. EA with the Rams. Andy Dalton. One out of ten. So I guess the, the non autos are out of ten. The autos are out of five like we saw with that Baker Mayfield back there. Nice one for the Bengals. How do we feel about the Bengals, ladies and gentlemen? Seven is the win total as of uh, late April, early May. I 
feel like the Bengals always have like they've got like talent on paper. Like you look at the team, you're like, yeah, that team should be fine. Out of one ninety nine. And out of 99, Christian Kirk for the Cardinals. Out of 699 for the Titans. And I thought they were gonna thought they were gonna kind of fire the coach, but the coach must have must have a oh we already got an O. That'll still ship out though. Um, I thought they'd fire the coach, but he must have like blackmail on on ownership dual threats Tom Brady seal current says under Doris Fountain <laughs> right Cody West saying we all hope to have as much job security as Marvin Lewis it's amazing Rashad Penny. Ooh, sparkly. Out of 25. There you go. That's a little bit different. The other ones were out of 49, I think. Out of 25 for the Seahawks. That'll be for Dakota. Jalen Samuels for Seal Curtain. Out of 99. And two box. We're almost there, folks. Two boxes to go. Almost there. Stay on target. Speaking of steel curtain, let's talk about his Steelers. Uh, late April, once again, late April, early May. I don't think the lines have changed very much at this point of the year. Maybe they started to start to change. I think over the next month or so, I think there'll be a little more line movement. But as of now, uh, Steeler, Pittsburgh Steelers, 10.5 is their win total. Over or under? AFC North. They got to deal with the Browns twice as, twice a season. The Powerhouse Browns. Those are two L's right there. Browns got close to beating the Steelers twice last season. Under a touchdown. Um, I don't know. The rest of the AFC North, not very scary. Are, are we? No one's afraid of the Ravens, right? Sorry, Ravens fans. No, they got Mason Rudolph. Cody West. Josh, jo our Joshua Dobbs... Steel Curtain has started to put those hits in the in the sh paper shredder already. Right where the uh, right where the Zapruder film of the Immaculate Reception is. Um, so I say over for the Steelers. They always seem to do well. Uh, well, they always seem to do kind of have some weird controversy at the beginning of the season. I feel like the last handful of years. Or last few years or so, early season, people are starting to hit panic buttons. Someone's injured. Someone's not playing well. Blah blah. And then they end up, you know, playing very well as the season goes on. Um, so I think I think they'll go over on that ten and a half. Steel curtain. What do you think? Over ten and a half? Way too early. He's also asking. But who wins offensive rookie of the year? Brandon Thomas is Saquon Barkley. Cody West says Josh Rosen, the chosen Rosen. Uh, it's a quarterback usually, isn't it? Quarterback or running back. It's usually how it goes. What is this? There's two players on the back. It's a dual autograph. 17 out of 25. Oh, Clay Math. Oh, look at this. Family ties. I love this. That's awesome. I was like, I was like, wait, Clay Matthews. That's old school Clay Matthews. Browns Clay Matthews, and then Packers Clay Matthews. It's the Matthews family. Nice. Browns, that'll be Cody West, who has a chance. 
And then Jared with the Packers has a chance. It's a randomizer. And Seal Curtain saying uh, Dobbs is on his way out and over for that win total. Out of 25, Jordan Howard. We haven't seen any other. That's our first Jordan Howard. We got close to Wentz. I don't think we're going to make a name. Well, maybe. I don't know. Let's play another whistle on that. Darius Fountain to 199. David Johnson, Craftsman, Relic. That'll go to Sen Yin with the Cardinals. Yeah, they are cool cards, right? Steel Curtain wants the uh, the JJ Watt, TJ Watt version. That would be cool. Uh, let's put that there. Mike Kosicki out of 99. Out of 88. No ink yet. Out of uh, 399, Josh Rosen in his Cardinals gear. There's Jordan Howard. Oh, maybe. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get to it that but this is a purple purple d out of 75 orange a is right there Let's put that there dj shark dj left shark pen pals autograph that goes to the jaguars cameron wasn't this is the guy that you were looking for right nice see well worth the wait second to last box There's J.J. Watt out of 99. Oh, yeah, you did get – Brandon did get the uh, Dolphins in case two, so you might be – between two cases, we should be able to get a Gasicki autograph, right? Hey, you're welcome, Cameron. Thanks for getting in. Appreciate it. Jimmy Graham to 20. That's a nice low number. Still looks weird in a Packers uniform, Jarrett. Harrison Smith to 78. Captain Clutch, Andrew Luck. We'll see if he's healthy this season. Rashad Penny out of 99. And Odell Beckham Jr. right there. All right. Last box coming up, boys and girls. We did it. We made it. All right, so let's see what we got here. Jaguars. Jacksonville Jaguars win total is at nine. What does everyone think? Nine. Do they re – is their defense for real? Can they do it again? Is this a – are they going to be a perennially amazing defense? Is Blake Bortles going to do just enough? Do they have enough weapons? What does everyone think? AFC South. Right? Texans are going to be good. Deshaun Watt, Texans are great with Deshaun Watson. So that's going to be that's going to be some tough games for the Jaguars, tough challenges. You know, Titans are steadily improving little by little. Colts have Andrew Luck back. So they've got a tough quarterback there in Andrew Luck. I think it's still – I mean, could they rely on that – could they rely on that defense the entire time? Maybe. Probably. The defense did look good. I can't see that really, aside from any major injury or anything. Like you can't see really see that changing too much, right? But their offense just has to do enough. I think that'll be the big difference maker right there. DJ Moore for the Panthers at a six ninety nine. We got Russell Wilson. I don't think we're gonna get Wilson out of this last box, but 
But I do like these names. All right, there we got Hayden Hurst, turn of the century. 48 out of 49, late first round pick for the Purple Birds. That'll be for Adam Kupperman. So adding some weapons for the Ravens offense. There's Julio. Julio! Captain Clutch, Russell Wilson. Jameis Winston, the famous, maybe famous for the wrong reasons, out of 299. Robert Kelly, Craftsman. That'll go to Adam Kupperman and the Redskins. That's for King D out of 199, Texans. Out of 699, Duke Dawson for the Pats. Face to face. Pen Pals Duel. Wow. Closing strong. Sam Darnold, Josh Allen, Duel on card Pen Pals autograph. Pen Pals Duel. Bills, Adam Kupperman. Jets, Adam Kupperman. Oh, that's easy. No randomizer. Oh, I thought I was going to have to break a heart. No heartbreak on this one. Heartbreak on that one, possibly. Good, good work, Adam Kupperman. He probably studied the checklist. He's like, oh, there's a dual auto there. I better get both teams. See, that, that avoids a lot of heartache. And then out of 81, Hayden Hurst, Purple Birds. And the last bit right here, Case Keenum to 96. Joey Bosa, 9 out of 24. Nice Joey Bosa. Chargers die cut. That'll go to Adam Kupperman as well. Big boys all those having asking, what's, what happens to Bryce Petty? I don't know. What does happen to Bryce Petty? Where is he? I guess it's just time to have Bryce Petty cards in the shredder. We got out of 299, Kirk Cousins. You like that. Out of 699, Broncos, Royce Freeman. Tidal Waves, Kurt Warner. And Khalil Mack and Devontae Adams closes it out. We did it, folks. We made it. Made it to the end of the break. A little over an hour. I think maybe the next one will probably be a little bit faster. We got close on some of these names. On Wentz, we got close. We didn't get close with the Russell Wilson, Vaughn Miller, or Cam Newton, but we got I think we got, got close with Gurley. Almost there on that. Alright, so we've got some face to face cards. I think all these are numbered, right? Um, oh, these are different numbers. All right, so these will have to be different randomizers. All right, that's out of 99. That's out of 299. That's out of 99. That's out of 299. All right, stand by, folks, while we, while we set up this randomizer. Oh, I was looking at baseball scores while I was doing this. All right, so let's go to random.org. Let's get some dice. One, two, three, four, five randomizers. All right, Seal Curtain, we'll see you tomorrow for Elite Two. Brandon, have a good night. Uh, for the rest of you, Inception Baseball Divisional coming up after this. So we have Bears, Eagles for that one.
We've got face to face bangles. This is the out of two ninety nine. And then we had the one that was out of 99. Otherwise, I would have just given it to each team, but they're different numbers, so. All right, and then we've got Saints, Falcons. That was the Drew Brees, Matt Ryan to 99 face-to-face -face card. And last but not least is the dual autograph out of 25. That was Browns, Clay Matthews, and then Packers, Clay Matthews. One dice roll to rule them all. Seven times. Lucky seven. Six and a one. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seven times. Eagles stays with the Eagles. So the Eagles will get that face-to-face -face card. Seven times for uh, Bengals Jaguars out of 299. One, that was uh, A.J. Green, J uh, Jalen Ramsey. Two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Jaguars gets the out of 299. That's the silver one right here. And the one with the sort of reddish background is out of 99. Seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, Jaguars get the out of 99 as well. So the Jaguars get both. So that's the out of 299 face to face. That's the out of 99. And there's the two quarterbacks right there out of 99. That is, once again, six and a one, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Stays with the Falcons. Falcons on top right there for that out of 99. Now, the big one right here is 17 out of 25, dual autograph, Clay Matthews and Clay Matthews. Once again, six and a one, seven times. Good luck. Uh, Cody West with the Browns and Jarrett with the Packers, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seven times. Team on top flips to the Packers. That goes to Jarrett, who had last spot mojo as well. Maybe that was the difference. 17 out of 25. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. That was a great break of a, a great full case break of elite football. Thanks very much. There's more on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check it out, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.